So there's several mazes. Is that a dead end? And we're trying to guess how many rooms are in it. What do you think? This thing is so cool. <laughs> May, do you see the lion? <laughs> This is getting frustrating. This is why we're in this Airbnb. It has an apricot tree though. You can eat this fruit. The apricots are on the floor. Yep. Is it good? All right, drop it on down. No fresh ones. How's this one? Good. What do you think? Not bad. That is so sweet. Good, huh? Straight from the tree. Mmm, that's a good one. They're like little peaches. Well, last night we got into our new Airbnb. This one has a yard, a little more space, and maybe most importantly, darkening shades. Our kids slept for an extra two and a half hours tonight compared to yesterday. And those hours make a big difference when people start getting cranky at the end of the day. You guys can play with stuff in there. Do you see the snail? I need it. We're gonna cook it. Cook it? Yeah. I thought it might be like a pet or something, but you wanna eat it? Well, we don't have any food. Okay, well that's a good point. So just 0.2 miles from our house is this big metro store, which we think is a grocery store, kind of like a Costco. We are not sure what to expect, but this is our hot date today. So yeah. we're gonna go get some food. And yes, I'm wearing the same clothes as yesterday for now. And I'm not, I got dressed. You look good. I just haven't showered yet. Don't judge. We obviously have a large family, so bulk shopping usually works for us, but we're only here for a few days, so I'm not sure. We need a card to get in, which we don't have. We're not members, but uh... We also don't need a giant case of yeah, anything Yeah, everything is in bulk. We're gonna keep walking to a local grocery store. We found an Aldi, or a Hofer. Hofer. So we are celebrating Isaac's birthday tomorrow, and most of his presents are going to be edible, because we can't take much with us. So, we're gonna do some birthday shopping here as well. What is that? These are the Kaiser rolls. They're mm -hmm. kind of classic for Hannah. We're gonna make them into some sandwiches. Perfect. So we just asked someone about gluten-free, see if there's a gluten-free section. Gluten-free. Looks like a good present for Isaac. Yeah, I felt like that. Up puts off the spritz. That means like, sparkling apple juice. Mm. We need toothpaste. Zan crema? Teeth cream? That makes sense to me. <laughs> we end up getting like denture cream. <laughs> I'm like, this one's clearly for kids. Breakfast, snacks, and some birthday surprises. Isaac, it's 11.30. Mm -hmm. Come on. While Kendra and I were shopping, the kids created a show. They want us to come down and watch it. They said we need to make sure to bring our credit card. There's a whole playroom in this house. Did you know that? Yeah. I didn't know that. Are you ready? Come to get your tickets. Just so you know, this is Ben computer. Where do we sit? Uh, on this map. Here, I'm gonna pay. Oh, yeah. Boop, boop. Eight krona. Good deal. That is a good deal. Those are the tickets. My name's Kendra. Okay, how do you start? K. The show starts with bubbles and a strobe light. Oh, sometimes I don't know why you love me. Sometimes me as I am, star above the best I can say. I'm not going anywhere. At that very moment, a gift bag was given with Thank a Thank you so donkey. much for coming to our show. Now you can take pictures of Chris Rock. Hey! Hey! Yay. 
Isaac, you caught the show. Give me tickets and a credit card. Isaac's coming to see the show. Is it real? Himself. The prince. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Dear Isaac. Happy birthday to you. Here you go. There's your present. <laughs> Isaac is 15 years old. With the Kaiser roll, cheese, butter, and some meat. My experience has been that in Europe, most breakfasts are more savory and less sweet than like American breakfast. So when I first came here, it was very foreign to me to think about bread and ham and cheese being a breakfast, but it's delightful. We have a raspberry bush. Ooh. Can I try these? And an apricot tree. Those are raspberries. Raspberry. Okay, now go on to the picture. Swipe up. No, it look up tell. plant. Yeah. They actually have a way to look up what plant it is. The red currant or red currant is a member of the genus in the gooseberry family, native to Western Europe. The species is wildly cultivated. Yeah, it's a currant. Can I eat it? Sure. Go ahead. You put it good. So good, right, Laura? Gooseberry. Is it good? It's kind of sour. Yeah. <laughs> I had a gooseberry drink in Sweden, it's and it was sour. delicious. Anytime we show us getting on a train, we're typically doing multiple stops, multiple transfers. Where are we going? Schoenbrunn. So this is Schoenbrunn Palace. It was the summer residence of the Habsburgs. Okay. And we're trying to guess how many rooms are in it. What do you think? Hundred-ish. A hundred-ish? Hundred. Oh, she's counting. One hundred and eighty-two? One hundred and eighty-two? How many rooms? One hundred and forty. So what do you think? How many rooms are in this palace? Turns out it's more than fourteen hundred rooms. The kids have found a lot of joy in trying to walk in unison. So Kendra explained that when she was here for her study abroad. She ran through here every morning, up to the top of the hill. So I would typically weave in and out of the side. Well, we're loving the cloud cover that's here. We have gotten blessed with some beautiful weather. What are your sticks? Mine is a walking stick. Janae's is more of a torture stick. A torture stick? Yeah, no, no. Part of Jeremy and I's strategy in traveling this year is being really deliberate about what we see and how we see it. So for example, Schoenbrunn is a palace. You can go in and do tours and I'm sure they're just phenomenal. I've actually not done it before. But we know that we're going to later be going other places with palaces and we know we can't kind of overdo it on palaces. The kids can't see a palace every day and be wowed by it. And so we're just choosing only a few specific ones to actually go inside. So this one has a playground and a maze on the ground. So we walked through the gardens, saw the palace, talked about the history of it, and now we're playing at the maze in the garden. And we're hoping that this helps the kids be kids and focus on play and make positive memories at different places without getting overloaded with just tours. It's flying. Look, Whoa. the wings are going. This thing is so cool. That is just crazy. Well, the rain's really coming down. Laura and Janae are still on the playground, hopefully not getting wet. Isaac and Caleb took cover in a log. <laughs> don't get wet! Hey, I don't think it's raining so bad anymore. You could probably come out of the log now. <laughs> we got blue skies again. They're going through the maze while the girls continue to work here in the sand job. What do you call it? What you're doing? Our sand. Our sand. Since you could go either way through the entrance, Isaac and Elise took one way, and Caleb and I are taking the other way. Let's totally beat them. Practically racing. 
One sec, I have a trick. That looks like a dead end. I agree. Okay, connected. We, <laughs> we did connect. That looks like a dead end. In German, the word for maze is Ehrgarten, which means like confusing garden. I like that. Wait, we've already been here. Let's go this way. No, that's dead. No. no. <laughs> that one. Oh. Caleb's running ahead, checking every corner. Does this one keep going? I think we're back to the entrance, bud. We made it back to the entrance and we're trying the other direction. There's like a middle center piece where you can figure out your way. We gotta figure out how to get over there. Did you guys make it up there? We followed every path. We cannot figure out how we can't find the way and how Isaac and Elise are up there. And now they're just taunting us. It must be fun to watch us squirming around down here. This is getting frustrating. I've seen this one a bunch of times and I thought it was a dead end. Oh, it keeps going. It keeps going. <laughs> we have gotten a few hints from Isaac and Elise. It's actually been really helpful. I'm not very good at mazes, I guess. Our helpers, you guys have actually been super helpful. Yeah, you guys really needed it. Yay, we did it. Yep. Right, I finally did it. I finally caught up to you guys. So there's several mazes. You can see them from up here. Now we get to watch Dad and Laura go through. It was fun watching you two go through. I bet so. You guys were fast. All right, so Isaac and Elise just flew through the maze. And then we watched Caleb and Mom struggle to keep up. And, and you enjoyed that? Yeah. All right, well Laura and, now, and I are gonna go try it. All right, so we can either go this way or this way. Your choice. Good luck. I don't really They look care. like they're coming back, so let's try this way. Is that a dead end? Dead end. Try this way. We're taking the outside route. Will it lead to a dead end? There they are. To them, it's literally like they can't see each turn, but we can see where everything ends. Dad's doing everything right. Dead end! I warned you! Dead end! It's a dead end, Jeremy. Oh my goodness. They're going all the way back. They were almost here, and they took a wrong turn, and now they're going like all the way back. You guys do it right. Go, Nene! Go, Nene, go! You choose, Nene! Woo! Janae, high five! How did you know which way to go? Uh, no clue. So we're back all the way to the beginning. Janae just made it. They told us that on our first attempt, we almost got there and we took one wrong turn. It's funny, there's actually quite a few adults in here that are pretty frustrated and haven't been able to find it. Like, it's a difficult maze. Let's try the middle or the outside. We already did that one, I think. I don't think we did. Yeah, go the way that you first did. Yeah, huh? Laura, Laura, go without dad. Leave dad alone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, dad, I took one wrong turn. No one give dad a clue. Hey daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I know. Woo! Dad turn around, you had the wrong way. Yay! Dad did it. That's fun. Like it's fun to do a maze. It's actually legit hard. It's cool that the end point is up here so you can watch other people get lost. That is fun. And get help. I had. I needed help. You needed some help? I did. I'm glad mom and dad went to the grocery stores. Same. Yeah. Snacks are paying off. They what flavor is yours? Deal. Strawberry, banana, apple, strawberry. Yummy. Hey, ready? One, two, three. It's crazy. We're back to the park. <laughs> Watch out, today. <laughs> They wanted me to push really fast. We've been really grateful to find around Vienna some like public spaces to fill up water. The water is clean and wonderful. So we carry several water bottles and then we try to refill them as much as we can throughout the day. Daddy. Mom at the zoo, you're gonna see all the animals. Okay, we're splitting up. 
for a whole two hours. Janae's going along giving everybody a hug. I just bought tickets to our next destination coming up in a couple days. Dun, dun, dun. We'll stay there longer, finally. Yes, then we're gonna start going slower. It's been pretty fun to like move quickly and like see tons of stuff, but I'm excited to like settle down for one spot. Yeah. Ooh, very cool. So whenever we're in a city, show them. Whenever they're in the city, the kids wear trackers. Ooh, you want to go to 23, which is the bee section, or 22, which is the bird section, or 21, which is the owl okay, section? Okay, let's see. Where is the entrance? So I was hoping we could go through <gasps> Mom, could into the zoo. So there's the palace. Hey! Whoa. <laughs> Like those rocks are gonna fall on me. So anytime we're in a museum, we always go up to someone and say, okay, what are the most important things to see? He asked us a bunch of questions and then gave us a map with highlighted sections. This is the oldest zoo in the world. World the world? The whole world. The whole world world. The whole world, oldest zoo right here. In 1752, the Kaiser, Franz I, and Maria Theresia decided to do this. So we're starting with their insane rock collection and then working our way to the meteorites. There's so much, so many interesting things. Me and mom would love this. That's beautiful. Look at that. That's so cool. I love all the different colors. It's hard to capture how big this is, but it's just rooms and rooms. Of rocks. This one to me looks like a monster with a big mouth that's trying to eat you. That's so pretty. There are a lot of things from Arizona. Yeah, it's a very cool place for rocks. Look at the flicking of the ears. Janae, Mommy, come see. He looks like an armadillo. Ascending magma carries diamonds up into the Earth's crust where they are found in a rock known as kimberlite, and they have some that are literally inside of the rock. This is my favorite diamond. There's yes, a diamond. That's so pretty. Should I get this for mom's diamond ring? No. A wedding ring? I'll get a sapphire. It'd be way too big. Oh. So this big. diamond is called the Florentine, but it's been missing since 1918. That's just a replica. No one knows where the original is. What? It's like the Pink Panther. We gotta go find it. Yeah. So this one looks green by daylight, but then red by candlelight. So it just depends. Oh, look at this. This is quartz. Citrine quartz. I love opal. That's so pretty. Reindeer. They're reindeer? These are reindeer. Reindeer? I was like, I thought elk were a lot bigger. Look at those antlers. Laura, look. These are little prairie dogs. Hey, dogs are so cute. Janae is so excited to see the lions. That's all she wants to do. So we decided to go there first because after we see the lions, she said, Mom, after I see them, I can get out of my head and be interested in everything else. So we're booking it straight to the lions. So they actually have the largest meteorite collection here on Earth. These are big because they had to fall through the atmosphere. These are formed from like gas and dust clouds. It's stardust. So that moonstone has come from the actual moon and it was given to Austria as a symbol of peace. Yeah, from the United States. Uh -huh. That's cool. A 100 meter long meteorite, if it crashed here, it would destroy all of Vienna. Wow, so that's like one the size of a football field? Yeah. Peace oh, out, no. humankind. Yeah. This is a time traveling one, you guys. What's gonna happen with all the movement? It's a really cool model of the Earth. You can learn a ton from it. Janae, do you see the lion? The paws are so big, huh? Wow. Tigers. What do you think?
really tall. It is really tall. It's amazing. So the reason this sculpture is such a big deal, it's almost 30,000 years old. It's really tiny, but it's a pretty big deal. So this is Egyptian gold pieces. So the reason there's so much of this stuff here in Vienna was that they had a very long-standing dynasty where they had control over Rome, they had control over tons of the earth, and so they got access to a lot of this stuff. When your eyes are closed, it looks like just a black spot on the Okay, this is the oldest it gets. Smile. You're so tan. Spot. No, he's so tan compared to that. <laughs> Go on. That, that is disturbing. <laughs> I am not a good looking woman of Samaria. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Let's do the picture. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> that is insane. Okay, I want to do that. That is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so nice. beautiful. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we are gonna try out these the Schaumbecher. So these are not ice cream cones. I've seen them sold a couple places here. What do you think? Was it good? So I put cream in the middle and like very dark chocolate in the outside. I just can't get over that they look like ice cream. And they're not. Hey look, the Puerto Rican ducks. Yeah, what's fun about it is it is you can see way more animals than you can see at a zoo. They're just stuffed instead of living. they're just right Dad, there. They stuffed all the stuffed animals into one building. Oh ho. Bison live out in like Yellowstone area, so out west in America. So all of the exhibits are incredible, but the art itself in the building is mind blowing. They have statues up on the sides of the walls, the molding, the murals, the statues. It's just really an incredible building. Isn't this building unbelievable? That is so crazy. Whoa. Good job, Nay. You did it! You did it! You made it to the bird's nest! Oh, that is very fun. Playground in the zoo was super enticing. Real spider crab. When they're really deep, they can get really big. That would be so scary to run into one of those yeah. in the ocean. You're thinking of Night at the Museum? Dexter? Yeah. It's unfortunate that we're so hungry and so tired. There's so many amazing things to see here and to learn, but I just don't think you can do it all in one visit. For mom? The giant crocodiles and alligators? Yeah, mom would not like this room. This was sincerely one of my favorite zoos that I've ever visited. Somehow I don't feel like I've been walking forever and the weather has been really nice, so that helps. But also I just felt like the kids were so engaged. I love seeing all the different animals. Everything was convenient. Yeah, the Vienna Zoo gets a thumbs up for me. And the kids couldn't resist stopping at the playground on our way out. There's so much more to do here at Schoenbrunn. We could enjoy days upon days here. It's hard to leave and know that so much of each city that we're seeing, there's only a tiniest part of it that we can see. But that's okay. That just tells us that there's so much more left to explore. So over 20 years ago, when I was here, my very favorite ice cream place was Tiki Ice. And I had some Austrian friends here, and so tonight we're meeting up with them and visiting, and just, it's been so fun to talk to locals and get that perspective, and now we're eating ice cream together. And my kids are getting to meet their kids, and it's just wonderful. Yeah, everybody else is in a line out front, but the locals know to come in back, where you can sit down and eat ice cream. <laughs> Wow. Is this how you remember it? Yes. Hey Caleb, you wanted one of these? How is it? Because Isaac's birthday is right now. He got the mammoth 
Austrian ice cream sundae. And I get to finish it when he does it. Yeah. Good night. Do you out? I wish I could time travel and they could meet 18, 19 year old Kendra and hang out with her for the day. He went for it! This is where I lived. We're still climbing. They're making toys. And then boom, they're going a little fast.